So we've talked about um, adding and subtracting positive or negative numbers on both sides of an inequality, and that's just like an equation. And we've talked about multiplying or dividing both sides of an inequality by the same positive number, and that doesn't change the direction of the inequality. It behaves just like an equation. Uh, but if we multiply or divide by a negative, num negative number, we need to change the direction of the inequality, so that's what we're talking about right now. So here's an example, negative 2x is less than 8, so I want to solve for x, so I have to get rid of the negative 2. So I'm going to divide both sides on it, like we would do an equation, divide both sides by negative 2, except I know I'm going to have to change the direction of the inequality, so this is a little method that I use. I just circle the inequality sign. And I know the next time I write it, it's going to be pointing in the next direction. That's the only the opposite direction. In other words, it's pointing to the left. It's got to be pointing to the right for me to remove the circle. So now I've got x. A negative 2 over a negative 2 is just 1. So I've got x is greater than, pointing in the opposite direction. And a positive divided by a negative is a negative. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So x is going to be greater than negative 4. So what I'll do is I'll can put 0 anywhere on my number line. And I know negative 4 must go to the left of 0, so I'll put it over here, anywhere. After that, all the other numbers are set by the rule of postulate, but we don't have to write those. We're just interested in 0 and negative 4. And x is going to be greater than, as long as my variable is to the left, this is the direction I'm going. So I'm going to the right of negative 4, but not equal to, so I put a circle at negative 4, and I'll shade to the right, or squiggle to the right. There we go. All right. Over here, I've got x divided by 3 or negative 3 because I've got a negative in front of that, so I want to get rid of the negative and the 3, so I'll multiply both sides by negative 3. I'll put a parenthesis around here so I don't confuse this with addition, and I'll put a negative 3 out in front. And this is times negative 3, and I can put that in a parenthesis also, so don't confuse it with 2 minus 3 although the dot should help me there. And then a negative times a negative is positive, and 3 over 3 is 1, so I just have x on the left. Oops, what I forget to do. I forgot to circle my inequality, pardon me. So as soon as you go from this side to this side, you must remember to circle the inequality because you're multiplying by a negative number. If you forget that, then you're going to forget to change the direction of the sign. So now, in order to remove the circle, it's got to be pointing to the left. There we go. And a negative times a positive is a negative, and 2 times 3 is 6, so that's going to be negative 6. So I can put my 0 anywhere. I know my negative 6 is going to be the left of 0, and I'm even going to go to the left of that, so I'll try to give myself a little more, more room. So I've got 0 here, and I could put negative 6 over here, because I know I'm going to be filling into the left of negative 6. I'll leave myself a little bit of room on the line. I could put a dot here, and then everything to the left of negative 6. It's filled in. And that goes all the way out, so make sure you go to the end of the line. Okay, end of the number line. Okay, now we've got some fractions, but the same idea. Remember, we, we could also, we could multiply by 4 and divide by 3 or negative 3, and that would do it in two steps, but we can also do it in one step by using the reciprocal, so in this case it's going to be with a negative sign. So it would be the reciprocal, but only the, with a negative. So Put a parenthesis around here so I don't confuse this with, with addition again. Let me write this, get this up a little bit higher here. There we go. Multiply by a negative, and then the reciprocal will be 4 over 3. But since I'm multiplying, I've got to circle this, and I'll multiply this by 4 over 3, negative 4 over 3. So I'm multiplying both sides by negative 4 over 3, negative 4 over 3. So I can do that. I can multiply both sides of an inequality by the same negative number, except I have to remember to, to reverse the direction of the inequality. That's what this little circle reminds me to do. Okay? So a negative times a negative is a positive. 4 over 3 times 3 over 4, that's like 12 over 12, which is 1. 1 times x is x, so I have just x. 
since I circled this, I've got to reverse the direction, so it's going to set a, set a point to the right. It's pointing to the left. On negative times a negative is a positive. 3 goes into 6 twice, okay, and then 2 times 4 is 8, so I've got a positive 8. Okay, or I could say negative 6 times negative 4 is positive 24. 3 goes into 24 8 times. Either way, we've got x is less than 8. 8 is going to be to the right of my 0, so I'll put my 0 over here. And I can put 8 over here. Anywhere. And this is the direction. As long as my variable is on the left, this is the direction that I'm going to be shading in relative to 8. So to the left of 8, but not equal to 8, so I'll put a circle at 8 and shade in that direction. There you go. Okay, and one more. Um, we've got a variable on the right, so I thought I'd give you an example like this. Because we like the variable on the left, because it makes it a lot easier to interpret it. But first of all, we'll just find out what x is. So we'll multiply both sides by negative 2 over 3. Negative 2 over 3. Then I multiply this by negative both sides. Now since I'm multiplying by a negative, I've got to circle this and I'm multiply both sides by a negative. Sorry my dogs are barking. Okay. Um, this is going to be a negative 2 over 3. So I'll put a parenthesis around this also so I don't confuse it with addition. So Remember, since I'm multiplying by a negative, I've got to change the direction of the inequality. What's a negative times a negative? A positive. 2 over 3 times 3 over 2 is 1, so I just have x over here. And I'm going to change that, so instead of pointing to the left, it's going to be pointing to the right. And a negative times a positive is a negative, so I've got a negative. And 3 goes into 9 3 times, 2 times 3 is 6. So I've got x is actually smaller than 6 because this always points to the smaller number so we want to put our variable on the left so it's a little bit easier to graph so what I'll do is I'll just write the x over here and I'll write the negative 6 over here. Now remember the arrow is pointing towards the x so point the arrow towards the x. And you still have this says negative 6 is greater than or equal to x so x is less than or equal to negative 6. That's what you've got. And then you'll Put your number line, so put 0. Now since I'm going to the left of negative 6, I'll put my 0 over here. Well, this is like this one. This is the same solution. That's coincidental. And I'll put my negative 6 over here again. And x is less than or equal to negative 6, so again I've got a dotted negative 6. And this is the direction, so I'm shading like this. And there we go. Okay. So that should give you some idea of what to do when we're multiplying or dividing by a negative number. Okay, there we go. So hope that helps.